Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Warriors of the North Lone Wolf Let's Play. Where last time around we left off at the Ashen Head hideout here, uh, just outside of Elkshorn, where we, uh, I believe, took the mission. So, uh, if we are successful in clearing this place of, uh, did we get to see what was in there? I feel like there was a report. Um, yeah, there we go. So for successful in clearing this, we'll get um, just under 1,200 crowns, but in order to clear this place out, we're going to need to fend off uh, several thugs, a few marksmen, some raiders, and a brigand leader who is going to be a pretty good fighter. Um, probably comparable to... Um, not quite on the level of Sir Ruthard, maybe in terms of skill, but not necessarily in terms of equipment. Uh, probably more like Lars or Otmar in terms of gear, but he's going to be a fairly high level. Uh, and then of course there are the Raiders who are on par with some of our frontline fighters, uh, the Marksmen that are on par with our backliners, and the Thugs that are kind of just rapples. So this could be a very tough fight, um, but we are getting paid moderately well. and. There is, of course, the potential of us being able to pick up some pretty good gear out of this as well. So let's dive on in and get to this fight. <clears throat> so while things get started here, I suppose I should address this. Um, in case you aren't following this channel in any other uh, respect other than my Battle Brothers Let's Plays. Uh, so you may have noticed, if you're following this closely that uh, I haven't posted it in a while, or any Battle Brothers for that matter, and that's uh, because I haven't posted much of anything in a while. Um, even RimWorld has kind of fallen behind, and that's because I got a new job, um, and it is uh, keeping me quite busy. So uh, I'm doing the old, uh, it's actually an 8 to 5, not a 9 to 5, and um, it is roughly, that's an unfortunate miss, a uh, little over an hour commute for me both ways. So between the 9 hour shift and then the hour plus commute, I'm pulling like 11, 12 hour days Monday through Friday now. So that means when I get home, I basically have about 4 hours until I have to just, you know, go to bed and get ready for the next day. So, um, it has made it very difficult for me to... Uh, I think we're going to take that 54. Yeah. It's made it very difficult for me to get videos out if you haven't noticed. Um, up front, do we want to just engage? If we do, it would be wise to kind of shift um, up a little bit, rather than, say, down. So, at the very least, you're going to go here, if not further up. But what we'll probably do is have everybody step up like so, and then maybe leave Lars there just so that flank is a little bit less exposed. But Marco, can you kill him right out of the gate? Not quite, but that's a good hit. Um, and he is pretty badly wounded at this point. Uh, Otmar. Yeah, go ahead and slide up. And 57 is a pretty good chance, so we'll go for the stab, and he is successful. But yeah, so videos are falling behind a little bit. Um... It's unfortunate, I know, but, you know, this is uh, a pretty important job that I have to do, so it is what it is. Uh, let's actually slide in here and go for a headshot. Um, it is a very interesting job, though. Um, I am a R&D microbiologist at a very large company that uh, develops medical uh, equipment and devices and things like that, and so... I basically try to grow really nasty or really resilient bacteria that uh, the chemistry R&D department has to create things that can kill it. So, um, yeah, I, I basically grow really nasty bacteria. And I think I'm going to shift you... I don't know, it's weird because they really loaded up that left flank. That's their leader right there, the Robber Baron. Fortunately, he doesn't have a shield, so we might be able to... We might be able to salvage that armor. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty interesting job. Falk, why don't you step forward? Um, next turn, we'll 
probably have him reload and fire. You can move up two. Uh, they can also switch weapons if need be. You're just going to sit there and... Ruthard... See, I think I'd rather go up and, like, puncture. I'd, I'd prefer to get the helmet and the armor off of him. So I know a couple of these guys have daggers. We'll get him up there and try to shank, shank him to death and preserve the armor that he's wearing. I guess you could go here and we'll try to attack down the line. Let's do that. Ouch. That was a very lucky hit, especially considering he's carrying a kite shield. Um, two pathetic shots there. Okay. Uh, neither of those hit, fortunately. And in they go. But they're still lined up here, so we can get a pretty nice shot. And then uh, maybe a round swing there as well. Reinhardt. Um, go ahead and shoot him. It's not a great chance to hit, but... Uh, there aren't too many of them that are going to be vulnerable to ranged attacks. Over here, Marco. I'm going to send you to shore up that flank over there. Make sure that they don't get into my back line. Henry, I'm going to ask that you step up here to also help with that. Don't waste your turn just yet. Verdin, um, shoot that guy since he's pretty exposed. Nice. That's one less person we have to deal with out there. Otmar, you can continue to soften this guy up. Okay, I missed with the flail there. He's going to engage here, so Haldor can maybe smash his head as well. Um, we'll do a regular attack because I think it has a little bit better chance to get around his shield. Speaking of, I'm going to have Baldwin swap over to this side and start breaking it. Uh, Lars... Let's go for a round swing right here. Killed one. Uh, wounded the other pretty good. This guy's finally going to advance. Um, might need to break somebody off to keep him from getting in here. Meanwhile, uh, Hubert. See if you can't get that kill. Nice. Cut his head off, even. 30%, uh, 10%. Um, Falk, why don't you get your pike out? And can you stab that guy? There we go. Um, 39, 42. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'll shift him over there. I think that'll make it harder for them to get to Reinhardt. Liebrecht, go ahead and fire at, uh, 40%. You're still pretty healthy, so shoot him. And then let's get your pike out. And then you can stab him if you want. 61, 48, sure. Oh, we got the kill, okay. Well, Ruthard, why don't you try to dispatch him? Or at least one shot there is going to wound him pretty bad, but he's already out of the fight since he broke. Uh, you can step up, and that was kind of a mistake, because he probably would have came to us, but there's nothing else I could do with his turn, so we'll just leave it at that. In comes another bolt, that one gets blocked. Um, an arrow that doesn't, and actually does some pretty nasty damage there. Ouch, okay, but he's going to be running out of javelins soon. Oh, you're skirmishing as well, okay. Uh, let's shoot that guy. Uh, the bush blocked it, I think. Um, he's going to move in right there, okay, fair enough. Marco, why don't you start trying to chip away at his health and armor? Well, we got the armor a bit. Um, 33 is not bad. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's move you back this way. There's no reason for you to be out there. Verdin. Go ahead and shoot at that marksman again. That was a very poor shot. 10%, um, 24. Let's wait and see what you can do. Because this might not be a fight that we want to necessarily stick with, but we can't get you out of that at least not in the current situation so if you were to move down here for example a knockback might change the outlook a little bit um, go for a regular no 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 go for a regular swing nice shot can we get one more not quite Liebrecht if you move to here you can also help us 
We're looking at 58 or 48. Let's go 58. Try to dispatch him first. Lars, I'm going to ask that you take a shot there. Um, there goes that shield. Can we get the kill? Not quite. Okay. Ruthard, why don't you go here and let's take a swing at him. Nice. And if you step down there, we have him surrounded. So, so far the Robber Baron has not really been relevant to the fight. I'm going to see if Hubert can't get that kill. Okay, he's going to bail. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Maybe try to get him with the archers. Uh, I was hoping we could push him out of the way, but not quite. Uh, but yeah, so the Robber Baron is still untouched. Everybody else... Oh no! That was a really lucky shot, considering all the people in the way. And the friendly fire they risked. Uh, looks like Falk is dead. Nothing to be done about it. That's a miss. Um... Let's see, so he's moving in with a greatsword. That is a little bit concerning, actually. 18, 31. I'm going to see if we can't snipe him. Oh, he blocked it. Of course he did. Their shields work. If only mine did. Um, go ahead and just keep attacking. I really only need, like, two people on him. 39. Uh, yeah, keep trying it. I want to get him before he gets away. Cool blocked. No, actually, it was not. I don't know why I thought it was. Come on, get it. Nice. And that broke him, so he's out of the fight. I don't want to have to sit there and try to break his shield, but it looks like I might have to, because so far, nothing else is working. Liebrecht, um, why don't you kill him, or at least wound him? Try to get him out of the way. Otmar, let's get your dagger out. I'm going to ask you to pin him in place. Ruthard, go ahead and finish that guy off. And you could start going after these archers, possibly. If I have to, I'll double back. But ideally, I want the daggers to dispatch him. Hubert, I'm guessing you don't have one, no. So let's put you here. And since nothing else appears to be working, we'll start chipping away at that shield. Alright, so he's just going to bail. He's going to bail. Um, and I don't know if that guy did, I'm assuming, but we'll have um, Baldwin clear that spot just to be safe. There's a hit, finally. Okay, big swing there. Oh, right, you need to get out of there. Uh, Marco, I think, is the other one with the dagger. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, that means we got to kill this guy even faster. Verdin. You have a bill hook, which is not really going to help. Um, you can take a quick shot in there, though. You need to shift over so that he can't do another one of those. You, Haldor, can come in from behind. Though, i got to be careful because he's going to damage the helmet and the armor, potentially. I'd like to salvage both, or at the very least, the armor. So let's go for some punctures. Uh, of course, we actually need to land them, so that's another problem. Ah, there you are. I see you. We'll just run them off the map, I guess. And why don't you come back over here to help us? Hubert, um, you can start marching out after them, I guess. They'll probably just uh, run for it, though. I don't think they're interested in sticking around. Doesn't appear that way, anyway. Um, Henry, if you move there, you can get a hit in. That was a big shot to the armor, so we got to be careful now. Ah, right. He's going to start round swinging. Um, go ahead and shoot him. See what happens. Oh, you hit our own guy. That's what happens. Verdin. That's a complete miss. Marco, let's get your dagger out. And with whatever you have left, get into adjacency. Haldor, headshots if you're going to do anything at all. Oh, another shot to the armor, of course. Lars, get in there. He's just going to keep round swinging, but it's uh, not much to be done about it. Overhead strike. There's a decent chance he destroys the guy's armor with it, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't know if he did or not. Yeah, he destroyed it. All right, just kill him then. Okay, we got him. 
And uh, I might go ahead and just end our turns at this point. Uh, yeah, we'll say it's over. So we did lose Falk there, unfortunately. Uh, we did get three level, four level ups though. And uh, while we didn't get his armor, we did get his weapon and his helmet. So at least we did get something out of that. And we did get some other armors as well. Uh, and actually a lot of weapons too. So we'll collect all of that and we're gonna need to sell quite a lot of it. Okay, so let's return to Elkhorn and get paid. We are gonna need to replace Falk. Um, can look at maybe we'll have to see if there's anybody that's worth maybe moving back into his position and uh, potentially we could hire a, a really expensive character to put in the front line because uh, you know with this playthrough of course we can only have 12 at any given time so uh, it's worth trying to uh, now that we have more money bring in some more skilled characters I'm gonna head to Damwald because I'm fairly certain it's, it's been a while, but I feel like we've been to Segelfest fairly recently. Though, actually, you guys only have, like, taxidermists and stuff down here. Um, actually, Koppelstad is an armorer. I'm going to say, let's go there. They have an armorer and a temple. So we can heal our people up if uh, there's anybody with existing injuries. I think there's at least one or two. Um, we can also look at the armor and any potential hires that are available. So I think that offers us a lot of options. And plenty of work too, as it happens. So let's start in the marketplace. I'm gonna sell a lot of this gossamer. Oh, these heart of the forests are uh, pretty valuable too. But let's get rid of, I'm gonna keep four, I think, and get rid of the rest. And then as far as equipment goes, we need to see what's worth keeping and what's not. So right out of the gate, I think the javelins are going to go. This is a light crossbow, so probably not worth holding on to, but I don't really have any other ranged weapons. You know what? I will hold on to that for now anyways, and I think that's Falk's Pike. That can go. These can go. That's going to be useful. Those will not. And then the military pick. Um, we'll see. I'm actually going to sell... Like, all but one of our shields here, I think. We'll keep one shield. Um, and then, as far as backups go, we'll hang on to these kite shields. Headgear. Um, these are probably not worth keeping. We'll hold on to one of those. And maybe the rest of the helmets. That should get put on somebody right away. And we'll see about the armor, but I don't think that's worth hanging on to. But we are going to need to equip somebody as soon as we hire them. So let's stick with that. Those tools are overpriced, so let's not bother there. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Actually, why don't we give you that? And then we can go ahead and level him up too while we're in here. I feel like hit points might be worth it. His hit points aren't that high. I uh, will do that three. Your fatigue, I think, could use a little bit of a boost as well. So let's do four and five right there. Though the defense is tempting. Anyway, um, we'll do that. And then for a perk, um, what to take? Rotation is a good idea. It might help him get into combat more easily. Uh, backstabber could be good. It's a little bit late for something like student, and his initiative is too low for dodge. Um, anticipation is something I'd like to get on him as well. I guess let's start with Battleforged. He is wearing very heavy armor, so that will immediately benefit him. Lars, um, not trying to change your name, trying to level you up. Let's do a plus three there. I think a plus two here. And then your hit points are adequate. So let's give you a plus four. He also needs resolve, but he rolled pretty poorly. And you don't have access to Berserk yet, so... Instead, why don't we give you... Hmm. I'm thinking... 
Anticipation would be a good one. That's the only way we're really going to be able to protect him in terms of range. He has dodge, but it's not going to matter much because the heavy armor keeps weighing him down. Hubert. I'm thinking... Interesting. You might be somebody worth putting in Falk's spot. Because you have a bit of potential for ranged combat. In fact, let's do that since you're relatively new and therefore not specced into any one thing. So I'll give him a plus three for his range skill. We're going to give him that light crossbow probably. Um, his initiative might be worth boosting if we want to give him dodge. That's something to think about at the very least. So I'll take it tentatively. I can always um, re-roll if I need to. And that plus three is also tempting. But he kind of needs more fatigue as well. Actually, now that I think about it in the back line, it won't mean as much. So let's take the plus three. And then immediately we're going to shift you back there. We'll go into our stash. Uh, I meant to move that over here. For the front line, you need better armor. So let's replace yours. You have, at the very least, that. Um, you have better armor, but it's damaged. Okay. I'm thinking, let's put you in heavier armor. And let's put you in heavier armor. And then we will give him crossbow, quiver of bolts, and pike. And we'll build him as a hybrid character. So, to that end... Uh, do we want quick hands? I'm thinking we might. Colossus is the other option, but he actually started with a pretty good reserve of health already. So I'm going to give him quick hands. And then for future level ups, we'll probably look at Colossus. Um, and then pull our mastery as soon as we can get it. And then eventually crossbow mastery as well. But, you know, we'll work up to that. Baldwin... You, meanwhile, need to get that plus four. I think we'll take that plus three and maybe this plus three as well. And then for your perk, you've already got Axe Mastery. Um, we can get you Battle Forged. Berserk doesn't mean as much on a character with a one-handed weapon. It's not a terrible thing to take, but it's not as great as it is with a two-handed weapon. So that's something to think about at the very least. But I'm leaning toward Battle Forge with him. Though it's actually not going to affect him quite yet. I mean, it'll help a little bit, but because his armor is not particularly heavy, it's not going to ultimately count for as much until it is. Um, Executioner's good too. Quick Hands won't help him. Recover is a good idea to get on him eventually. I guess let's give him recover, because that's something I like to have on my shield guys before they max level, so may as well take it now. And it looks like there's four injuries that we're going to have to deal with, so that'll be fun. Let's do that first. So we do need those to recover, and wow, they are actually quite expensive injuries to heal. Then we'll jump into the hiring pool, and we'll see who's available. There is a militia man. So, uh, is he worth it? We're paying a lot for his gear. Uh, we also have Sir Valdemar, who we can, in fact, afford. He's an adventurous noble. Uh, we have Miller, more militia, again, paying a lot for their gear. This guy, we're paying a lot for his gear, too, but he is also a much better character, and his gear is actually something that would be an improvement. And then we actually have um, Helmer the Bastard. Hmm. This guy's a much better character. He'd also be our second knight. So I'm very tempted to do that. Before I do hire him, though, let's see what these jobs are, because we're going to be kind of broke. Oh, man. Uh, they want me to hunt lindworms, it looks like. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, not yet. I'm not going to decline it, but I don't think we're going to do it. What is this? 1540 to escort a caravan to Schlickberg, three days to the southwest. This might actually be worth doing because we're going to need a couple days for those injuries to heal. So that's something to think about. Um, where was that? 
pretty far down there, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Uh, it's not the worst. I just, I gotta be careful if we take that, because we're paying about 200 crowns a day. 400 crowns, we get us two days. Yeah, we would actually run out of money if I did that after hiring the knight. So I'd have to unload some stuff. But potentially we could make that work. So I'm going to take Sir Valdemar. And we'll see. Um, it looks like he does not have any... Um, what do you call it? Does not have any levels. So he's level 1. Um, interesting set of skills. We already gave you Sword Mastery, right? Because you are Disowned Noble. Hmm. Well, he is somebody that would be quite good without a shield. So that's something to potentially think about. Hmm. How do we want to go about building him? I guess for now what he's carrying is fine. Uh, I am going to give him this better helmet though. And the helmet that he had is actually going to be best suited to somebody in the back line. Oh, you need to get a new helmet too. Uh, because we don't want anything with a vision penalty if they're going to have ranged weapons. So, uh... 26 days, 4 days, 40 days, 54 days. So Verdin the Vengeful gets the headgear upgrade. That's originally the best headgear that we could give somebody without a vision penalty. Now um, there is one helmet that is better than this without a vision penalty. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Meanwhile, I don't think there's much else that we can do other than unload some equipment and hope that we can give ourselves at least enough cash to be able to survive this journey. So let's try to do that now. Uh, for starters, these are 110. These are 140. So I don't see a reason to keep these around. Um, I guess I'll hang on to one of them, but we'll leave it at that. Additionally, I probably don't need this much extra armor. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of all those. Um, and maybe the military pick too? I, I feel like I should keep one of them. Maybe I'll get rid of one of these swords. That'll keep us going a lot longer than anything else. And I already have, what, one equipped and then a great sword? So how many of those could I possibly need at one time? I feel like those that's a good thing to get rid of. We have one extra plus the one that's already in use, and a great sword, which is effectively the same thing, just better. Okay, so while we are healing our wounds, let's escort this caravan and hope that at least we'll have a bit of time to heal before we get pulled into a fight. But potentially we could maybe make it without fighting at all. If we're lucky, that is. So along the way, uh, by the way, we've made it... Um, most of the distance without any trouble, so it's looking pretty good for us so far. Uh, but anyways, you come, up, you come to an old woman in the road. She waves you down with one hand while the other clutches her neck. As you get closer, you see that her white hairs are waning, leaving a dome, a dome of her skull revealed, and her garish nose wheezes with every breath. These translations are rough sometimes. Uh, age has been most unkind in all resorts. Her words are expectedly labored. Have you seen an old man on the roads? Shaking your head, you ask what happened to her. She reveals her neck from which there are two holes. A bit of pus flows from each until she covers back up. My husband and I were attacked last night. I don't know where he is. I think they took him. They tried to take me, but the man attacking me must have smelled something foul because he got but a small taste before running off. Maybe it was my cooking. I always add too much garlic. My husband, he skipped dinner that night, the grouchy fool. You put up a hand, slowing her down. You tell her carefully, you care, ah, excuse me, you tell her to carefully explain who or what actually attacked. She nods and responds. I think it's pretty obvious it's a vampire. Uh, right, it was. 
She pauses and her eyes seem to change attention as if she blinked without closing a single eyelid. She glances back to, at you and smiles. Hello, have you seen an old man on the roads? He's my husband. We were attacked last night and I think they took him. Uh, yeah, that's all concerning. Every bit of that. So we're about to go through Dornwall here. Um, we're not too far from our destination. If we were so inclined, we could stop off here and maybe visit the market. We need tools, but I'm not keen on spending any money until we get paid for this job. Though, uh, that's not a bad price. And we are basically there. So you know what? I will snag those. And yeah, I'll grab these two. We'll maybe run negative for like a couple seconds, but it'll be fine. And uh, let's see if we're healthy before we move on, because it looks like those Noxers might be interested in a fight. There's actually a lot of undead running around right now. Uh, no, they are not. Okay, so they're going to flee. And all in all, it looks like we'll be pretty much left alone until we get to Schlickberg. Oh, the undead did in fact attack us. So let's go ahead and fight them off. Okay, so there are 17 of us and only 11 of the enemy, but we do not know what they are. Uh, we know that they're undead, but as far as what type, uh, we have no idea. So they could be, uh, you know, quite nasty. It could be just a bunch of, you know, low-level zombies. We will certainly find out. Um, I'm really hoping that there are no, like, necro savants in this group. Uh, it looks like they're going to be ancient dead. Okay. And so far... They're pretty sparsely equipped. As far as Ancient Dead goes, these guys are really poorly equipped. I think we can go ahead and safely just engage them. I don't see a reason to be overly cautious. So let's step on out, and we're looking at 60 or 60. So let's just do an attack there. So Ruthard, I don't see a reason to move you yet, because you can't actually um, attack. And it looks like they've come to us, so that's quite convenient. Uh, I don't like that you got kind of left out there. Ah, okay, so some heavier armored characters as well. Not characters, uh, more heavily armored units. Uh, unfortunately, your arrow is not going to be super useful, so you know what? Let's get the bill hook out, and we'll move you into a position where next turn you can use it. Henry, um, that's unfortunate. I'm just going to end his turn because he can't really do anything. Yeah, you guys please stay back. Verdin, go ahead and swap to your bill hook too, and then just wait there. Hubert, uh, I would like to delay your turn, but I can't, so I'm just going to have him switch to his pike. Because there are, uh, you know what, he could have shot his crossbow at one of these guys. There's only two zombies, though, as far as I can tell, and the skeletons aren't really going to take damage from ranged weapons, so I just I don't see a point in bothering. You guys can advance. Um, that's fine right there. I would like for you to attack him. We're going to use you to get rid of their shields, and you should be pretty effective with that. You can get your pike out, too. Um, if you step up here, you can actually engage this turn. Let's go here, because he's surrounded by three people right now, which isn't ideal at all. Um, meanwhile, that's not a terrible idea. Yeah, let's go with that. And then you can continue to chip away at him, or at least attempt to. You can move in here, and let's just do some regular attacks. Already his armor is destroyed. You can move on in and start busting shields. And we'll put Lars there, I think. And then the following turn, he can step down and split. And Ruthard, I'd like to do something similar with you, but I guess for now, just do that. Uh, I guess stay there for now. We'll see what they do. These guys are going to move up and start poking people, though. So I'd like to try to hit them before that becomes a problem. Because they uh, hit pretty hard with those things. Good evasion there. Um, oh, he clipped you a little bit on the armor. It's unfortunate. Reinhardt, you have a couple of choices. It looks like right here is going to be the best shot, though. So we're going to give him a hit. 
Verdon, if you advance to there, that'll give you a couple of choices. We'll dispatch him for starters. Hubert, you can move up and start chipping away. Actually, don't do that yet, because we'll try to get rid of one of the shields before we waste attacks. You cannot seem to avoid getting hit. Uh, we'll do the same with you, actually. Liebrecht, um, 51. Okay, nice. Good job. Otmar, why don't you help him out? Good hit. And go ahead and get up in that guy's face. They don't like to be engaged head up like that. They like to sit in the back line. So we'll see what they decide to do about it. Go ahead and break that shield and start working on that one. You can step down. Um, unfortunately, that was a bit a bit of a waste. Not entirely. It's just uh, obviously we were going to try to get two, but we only ended up getting one. Valdemar, don't do anything yet because I'd like you not to die on your first go round. Go ahead and split them. That was a pretty good shot to both of them. And it looks like they might be setting themselves up for a round swing too. Oh wow, they're really giving it to you. Oh, but he did get a counter attack. Okay, we'll move up to here. That's a good hit. And we're going to be supplying several more. Nice shot. Hopefully you can finish him off. Nice. Go ahead and advance with your remaining AP. I think we're going to go there, actually. And there he goes, so you can step on in. And why don't you take the rest of the fight off? He hasn't really suffered much hit point damage yet, so I'd prefer to kind of keep it that way. Meanwhile, we're looking at... What's the lowest there? So let's try to get rid of one of them. No such luck. Um, if you advance to, say, there, you can stab this zombie. No luck there either. Verdin, you can do the same thing. Uh, let's go after him, actually. Cool, so we almost killed that one. And if you step up, you can finish him. Oh, so close. Okay, that does put a couple of them in reach of this legionnaire now. Uh, it might be better off attacking him for now, but let's just stay on this guy. 90. Um, kill him, and then wound him. Nice. I guess we'll see what happens. Might be able to get that armor to drop. It looks like we probably did. Almost would have rather had the helmet, but whatever. At this point, it doesn't matter. Let's get you over there. That'll set you up for an attack on both of them next turn. And you're going to want to probably advance there. So, yeah, let's put you out here. Good dodge. You're done. You can split again. Um, that did hit both. Here comes the pike. That was a pretty nasty shot. But he will survive. Oh, right, zombies. Well, put him back in the dirt. We'll save that AP in case we need to advance. Can you dispatch him, Reinhardt? No. Our back line is not helping us very much. Liebrecht. Good job. We'll move you up so that you can support there. Um, Marco, please get rid of him. Haldor, I'm going to move you there. Verdin, step up so that you can contribute. Nice, we got them all. Uh, so that was one level up. Reinhardt did get injured. Actually, Hubert did too. Or those, I think those were the existing ones because they look like they're already bandaged. Um, and we recovered both pikes as well as some helmets and a few other things. We'll see if any of it's worth holding on to. Okay. Um, let's, let's just get to our destination first. And then we can sort things out. Oh, don't attack us all at once. I think the grudge bringers there just saved us from those orcs. I could be wrong, though. All right, there we go. We get paid. They're well supplied, so stuff here should be relatively cheap. Uh, but we'll see in just a moment. Um, let's start with leveling Marco up. So, Mr. Marco... You didn't roll very well. Hmm. I, I really need to get him resolved, but it's just not working out that way. I think we're going to go with fatigue and defense instead. Since he rolled 
exceedingly well on those. Um, he is a polearm master. I'm wondering if it's going to sort of work out that we need to shift him back there. Hmm. Reinhardt, you're at 42. I'm almost tempted to just get rid of him, make you an archer, and move Marco back into the back line. For now, I think I like the idea of Berserk. So let's do that. Oh, we did waste a level up on Shield Expert, though. It's not a huge deal. I think Berserk is going to help him no matter what. But if we end up giving him a pike, all the more so. So let's compare these to uh, the pikes that we're currently running. So, um, let's see. Durability is significantly less, less than half even. Damage is 55 to 80, uh, which is also worse. 30% of damage ignores armor and 125% effectiveness against. So it is better against armor. Um, otherwise, more or less the same. I think, considering durability and damage output, the regular pike is the superior weapon. Um, and then we do have a couple of helmets here. Um, probably worse than most of what we're running, though, so I'll likely just sell them. Yeah, I don't think any of that's going to be of much value to us. So probably just this helmet. Everything else we can get rid of. So let's do that now. And that might provide us with enough to then buy some armor. Okay, so there is all that. And uh, I don't know. We can try. But I don't think that's going to ultimately get us very far here. Ooh, that's cool. Revered Chainmail. Can't afford it, though. This is the helmet I was referring to. This is the best helmet for an archer, because, again, there's no um, vision penalty. So that's the highest armor rating that you'll find for something with no vision penalty. Uh, it's unfortunate that we can't afford these. I would need to free up quite a bit of coin to do that. Um, let's go ahead and sort this. I think I'll hold off for now. Let's get that helmet equipped, though. Maybe on you. 115. I think every other helmet is probably superior. 140. Yeah, that's better. These are equivalent. So your helmet is the worst right now. I guess you can have it. Sure, that's fine. We'll get it patched up. Um, speaking of, we should probably repair these. And repair that. That'll do for now. Um, what was this? I need you to head east to the region of the Reach. I've recorded numerous rumors of enormous beasts roaming that land, and I believe every word of them. Snakes the size of trees, so lindworms, it sounds like. Uh, 10 heads at 178 per head to hunt for shrats and lindworms around the hills region of the Reach. Uh, if we were going to do that, I don't know that now would be a good time to do it. Where is the Reach even? Um, I don't see it, actually. There's the Scald, Torched Plains, Golden Valley. Could be like here or something, but I don't see it. And if I don't see it, I'm not inclined to take a mission that's going to send me there. Because I'm uh, potentially never going to find it. It could be out west here, for all we know. So, I don't think that's worth it. Uh, let's go to Hoenn Term real quick, see what they've got going on. There's also an armorer there, so we might get a little bit lucky and be able to purchase something. Um, but, hopefully there is uh, some jobs that are more in line with what we're looking for. Of course, there's not. So, we'll at least pop in here. Uh, there is another sellsword armor, but again, we can't afford it. And the prices look to be uh, worse, actually. So that's also unfortunate. Um, okay, well, nothing to be done about it. How about hiring? That's something else I should consider. Deserter, 
Another deserter. Lots of deserters, actually. Because, again, Reinhardt here, not really the best character. So, it might be worth getting rid of him, making Liebrecht an archer. And moving Marco back into the polearm position. And then hiring another, you know, knight or noble or bastard or whatever for the front line. So that's something to think about. Nothing doing here, though. So let's go back to Schlickberg. And maybe we can look at their uh, potential hirings before we leave. But we'll probably just go back south. I don't really have any interest in what they're offering me up here right now. So that'll probably be... Um, we need to run the timer a bit. That'll probably be where we end it. But I would like to at least see what's on offer, since this is a town. Okay. So, uh, they do have a retired soldier. And that's probably the only one that we'd be interested in hiring. Though, he's not as good, I don't think, as some of the other people we were looking at. So, I don't think there's really anything for us up here. Let's just decline that. And next time, we will uh, head down to Blankwasser, maybe visit some of these, or we can just sail from there up to like Harkendock to expedite you know, our trip back north. But I think we're going to do what I mentioned, where we get rid of Reinhardt and move some people around, add a new frontliner. Um, we'll also try to keep some money available for hiring that person, also for uh, high-level armor for our frontliners too. But for now, um, we'll leave it there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.